Do not miss any of our cool videos. Subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Click on the bell icon now. Hello and welcome to the basics of CAD tutorial. Okay, so we start with what is CAD. Computer aided design is the creation, modification, and analysis of design by the use of computers. CAD software are a very powerful tool for design. Using the power of computers, a virtual 3D model of anything can be created. CAD softwares are mainly used in mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and electronics engineering. There are many CAD softwares available, especially for mechanical engineering. For example, some of the most popular CAD softwares are SOLIDWORKS, KTIA, Autodesk Inventor, Fusion 360, Onshape, etc. Okay, so now we are going to start with SOLIDWORKS, which is one of the most popular CAD software out there. Let's get started. When you open SOLIDWORKS, initially it will show you a screen which has no document open. To open a new document, click on this, New. Here you have several different options like Part, Assembly and Drawing. Click on the part and select OK. OK. So this is the SOLIDWORKS interface for the part file. You can see here its default name is part1. Here the interface is divided into several different components. This part is called the menu bar. Below it comes the command manager, which has several different, different commands related to CAD. Also you have command manager tabs. The main component of the user interface is this feature manager tree. It's also called as feature manager design tree. And here you have head up view display. This is the task pane in which you have several different tasks assigned. And this is the main this graphics aid. So first, in the menu bar, you have several options, many options related to the file like save, save as, save all, print, publish, pack and go, etc. Here you have edit options as well, view in, view options, insert options. In command manager tab, you have options related to CAD. We will get back to this after a few minutes. Okay. So we come to the main part. This is the feature manager design tree. Here you, you will have all the history of the component that you have built. By default, it has three planes that are shown here. The front plane, top plane, and the right plane. Working on any CAD project, we usually have to start with a sketch. What is a sketch? Sketch is a 2D drawing on which a feature can be applied in order to produce a 3D model. So we generally use these three planes to start our sketch with. Let's say for example, we started with our front plane. Here we have a shortcut for sketch. If you click on the plane and then you have a sketch tool here. Click on it and then here you will see that command manager tab has switched to the sketch tab. Here you have different options related to sketch. You also have a feature called smart dimension which we will talk later on. Let's start with a circle. Click on it, click on the center, left mouse click and then just move your cursor to adjust the size of the circle. Now here you can see these are the parameters of it. This is the radius of the circle. Let's say I give 10 mm and press enter. Also you have an option for construction which will make these lines dash and dot lines. Click on the tick mark to close the dialog box. Here below you can observe that these are the numbers It displays the exact location of a mouse cursor. You also see that here it is written as underdefined. Every sketch is either fully defined, underdefined or overdefined. We have a underdefined sketch. Now, I will make use of the Smart Dimension tool, which is uh, usually the first choice for dimensioning. Click on the circle and then click again. You will see a box in which you can input the radius 
and uh, the name of the sketch. Here, since I have already given it, uh, its radius as 10, its diameter is showing as 20. If I want to change, I can change it here. So now, the radius, the radius of the circle is 15 mm. Also, now you can see that it is fully defined here. It means that SOLIDWORKS fully understands this sketch and has no errors related to it. Here you can see that our default system for units is MMGS, which is millimeter gram second. You can convert to any of these unit systems, whichever you like. For now, I will go with MMGS. Th these are the options to discard or to exit the sketch. If you click on discard, whatever you have made will be lost. To keep these changes, you have to exit the sketch. Okay, so now we talk about now in order to orient the view, you can make use of arrow keys. So if you click down, the view will orient itself in a downward direction. Similarly, with other keys, it will act accordingly you press. Now in order to navigate through the mouse, you have to click the middle mouse button and then drag the mouse. You will see that a symbol like this appears instead of the cursor. So this is the first sketch that we have made on SOLIDWORKS 29. So in order to produce a 3D model, we have several different options such as extrude, revolve, swept boss, lofted, boundary boss, extrude cut. Let's extrude this sketch. If you select the sketch and then click on extrude, a dialog will appear and it will ask you for the value to be extruded. You have to give the value over here. Let's say I give it 50. Press OK. As you can see now, our geometry is not fit to the screen. You can do it either manually by pressing Ctrl and middle mouse button to fix it according. Or you have an option zoom to fit. Click on it so it will automatically fit the geometry to the screen for you. Also there is a shortcut for it. If you double click the middle mouse button, it will do that for you. So now you can rotate this by clicking the middle mouse button and dragging. Now if you press Alt and then click the middle mouse button, you can see the difference that it rotates about an axis only. And Control middle mouse button will pan it around. Okay, so we have created our first basic simple geometry, a cylinder. One of the most amazing thing about SOLIDWORKS interface is the amount of customization that it provides to the user. For example, you can nearly customize everything you see on you, on this screen. You can change the sizes of different panes like this. Also, you have a setting here in which you have a dedicated option to customize the user interface. Here you have many, many options like toolbar, shortcut bars, commands, menus, keyboards. Also, you have mouse gestures which are pretty much amazing. You can uh, use it for increasing your productivity. We have shortcuts here. For example, Control 1 will show you the front plane. Control 2 will show you the back of the front plane. Control 3 is the left. Control 4 is right. 5, 6 and 7. 7 is the isometric view. You can see the name of the orientation over here. Okay, so one cool thing about SOLIDWORKS or any other CAD software is that you can sketch on faces. Like if you select this face, click on it, a box will appear in which you have some options. Here, this is the option to create a new sketch. Click on it. It will automatically take you to the orthographic view of that face. Let's say I want to sketch a rectangle. I'll select a rectangle. Here also we have different types of rectangles you can choose according to your need. 
Currently, I have selected the center point rectangle tool. I will make a rectangle. Okay. So now you can see it's under defined in this line. I will click on it and then just drag the mouse and then click once again and then give the value and we are ready to go. Now you can observe that there are these green boxes with some symbols over it. SolidWorks provides a very powerful option for constraints. These are called relations. For example, if you give this line a vertical relation, as you can see here, it will fix this line in vertical direction. This is for horizontal and this is for the intersection. I can select multiple entities by holding down the control and clicking on that entity. So, so now you can see that there are several relations that appear over here. You can also see the same over here. So let's say I want to make these two lines equal. So I will press on equal. This will make these two lines equal. And you can see here that we have a relation. If you click on that relation, you can see the highlighted entities that are related. So if this is 20, if this line is 20 mm, then this line is also 20. To change this, click on the dimension and then just give the number that you want. Okay, so let's come back to the features. Now we have to cut a hole, a square hole like this, through a distance of uh, let's say 40 mm. So to do that, we have extruded cut feature. Click on it and a dialog will appear. It says blind. So you can give the input up to which you have to cut. Let's say I get 40. You can see the preview of the extrude cut. If it feels right, click on OK. Now you can see that we have a square hole inside the cylinder. So one basic feature that you will almost use every time in your CAD projects is the fillet. Fillet is a feature which rounds the edge. For example, if I select this edge, you can see in the preview that the edge is rounded across it. Similarly, if I want to select multiple edges, I can go on select. You have to put in the appropriate radius, let's say 2 mm. Now you can see the preview that edges are rounded over here. You can not only select edges, but you can also select features, bodies, as well as faces. So if I select this face and this face, you can see that the surrounding edges of a face are rounded. Here you also have an option for partial preview, which will preview just any one of the feature or no preview, which won't preview any of the changes. It is suggested that you go with a full preview so that you can analyze what's happening. If it looks fine, click on OK. Now you can see that the edges are round. You can see all of the edges that were selected and the faces, the edges surrounding the faces are round. This is one of the most basic tutorials you will ever find. There are many more advanced options that are used extensively. This is a basic part. Now, let's say if I want to edit the appearance of the scene. So, for that, we need to click on Edit Appearance. You will see that it is already selected as a fillet. So, whatever you have filleted, if you select a color, let's say I select red, the selected feature fillet 1 will be colored with a red color. As you can see here. Here you can see that you can select a part, you can select a face, you can select a surface, you can select a body or you can select a feature. For now I want to select a body. So I will clear the selection and click on the body tab and then select the body. Now you can see that the appearance is applied to the whole body. I can change my color using this color palette. Press OK 
Also, I want to color this fillet edges. I can do that by clicking the fillet and then select a color that I want. Press OK. We will learn about the more advanced options in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.